So today we're going to be talking about the seven most common mistakes that teen entrepreneurs make. Now, I just want you guys to know, the fact that you're even watching a video about making mistakes tells me that you are way ahead of most people. Because the most common problem entrepreneurs have is not admitting that they make mistakes and thinking they are perfect. So it's time for us to be humble, it's time for us to be honest with ourselves and talk about what are the mistakes that you guys are likely to make as a teen entrepreneur. And these are both mistakes I have made myself, as well as mistakes I have seen other people make. The number one mistake is seeking a biased opinion. And what I mean by this is you go to your friends or you go to your family and you ask them for their opinion of what it is that you're doing. You need to seek an unbiased opinion because the truth is people that love you are likely not going to be honest with you because they want to make you feel good. They want you to be happy. But if you seek biased opinions and you're looking for a confirmation bias, then you are way behind because you're not getting an honest opinion about your work. And as a result, you may go out there and pursue an idea that really isn't perfect yet, or it could have been better. So why wouldn't you want people to be honest with you about what it is that you are doing? So if you are somebody who has an idea, I highly recommend you go out there and you seek unbiased opinions about your idea. Because even though some people may be critical of your work, it's going to help you have a better product or a better idea in the end. Number two is very similar, and this is letting your ego get in the way of constructive criticism. And this is when anybody goes up to you, and let's say you do, you go look for an unbiased opinion. You ask someone, hey, what do you think of my idea? What do you think of my music? What do you think of my art? And they go, I hate it. And then you look at them and you go, what the hell do you know? What are you talking about? That is letting your ego get in the way of constructive criticism. And one of the biggest flaws of any entrepreneur is having a big ego and believing that everything you do is great and perfect. The best thing you can do is get rid of your ego. It is useless, it's not gonna help you in life. It separates you from people. It makes you seem elitist and it gives you a very small vision because you're not able to see the bigger picture and you only believe yourself. You only listen to the voice inside your head. Once you get rid of your ego and you're open to constructive criticism, you're gonna have a much better result in the end. The third mistake teen entrepreneurs make and entrepreneurs in general is believing that you are best at everything. And this is not true. So if you're somebody who is not willing to accept help, you wanna do every aspect of everything, you're in denial because you're good at some things and you're terrible at other things. And you need to sit down and be honest with yourself. You need to create a chart. One side is what I'm good at. The other side is what I'm bad at. And be honest with yourself. Are you a great writer? Awesome. Are you terrible at graphic design? Awesome. Find a graphic designer. Find somebody who picks up where you leave off. You don't want to do everything as an entrepreneur because you want to eventually bring people on and hire people and have other people involved in your business. So understand what your skills are and what your weaknesses are and find people who have skills in the areas that you are weak in. Number four is based on one of my favorite quotes ever and this is that we have two ears and one mouth. And what I mean by this is most entrepreneurs make the mistake of talking more than they listen. You want to be constantly listening and learning for new ideas. You want to constantly be asking people for their opinion and their advice and their thoughts and ideas. But if you're out there just having a loud mouth and talking more than anybody else in the room and all you're doing is talking and you're not listening, that's a big mistake entrepreneurs make because this is, this is again where your ego gets in the way. Your ego makes you think that you know everything and everyone is just yearning for your advice and they just want to hear what you have to say. But the truth is, the more you listen, the smarter you become. You're going to hear new ideas and be exposed to new things. And then when you do talk, people are really going to listen to you because you have something of value to add. I'm sure you've all been around someone who talks too much and you tune them out. If people are tuning you out, that's not a good sign. I want you guys to think about two ears, one mouth, and I want you to spend more of your time listening than you do talking. The fifth mistake that entrepreneurs make, especially teen entrepreneurs, is focusing on the outcome and not so much the journey. So maybe your end goal is to drive that Lamborghini, maybe your end goal is to go vacation in Thailand or go move somewhere exotic, but if you're too focused on the outcome and you're not focused on the journey, you're not gonna have patience, you're not gonna be able to ride it out, and you're not gonna have an enjoyable time. You want to build a journey that you love. You want to build fulfillment from the journey. While it's important to have goals and it's important to have a vision, you can't let that vision cloud the journey. The sixth common mistake I see from teen entrepreneurs is an overall sense of impatience. People want everything to happen right now. You want it to happen immediately. You want to be an overnight success. And the truth is that just doesn't happen. You have to put the work in. You have to build things slowly over time. And if you are too impatient to do that, you're probably not going to be an entrepreneur. The biggest mistake people make 
is wanting success immediately. They want things to happen overnight, and when things don't happen, they quit. And most people quit just before things would go well for them. Most people put in a lot of work, and then they just quit. And then they look back and they go, wow, why did I quit doing that? And then it's the people you see that are persistent. The people you see putting in work day in and day out, no matter what. Those are the people who become successful. Those are the people who really make it as an entrepreneur. The seventh mistake that teen entrepreneurs make, and again, unfortunately, this is a mistake I've made myself, is going after your friends and family for funding. This is a very common thing that I see. People go out there and they talk to their parents or their friends and they assume that just because you have a relationship with them, they are obligated to give you money to fund your business or fund your idea. And the truth is, this is a really shitty move on your part because you're trying to leverage that relationship. And you're trying to say, why don't you give me money? I'm your son or I'm your best friend. You should look at them as you would any other person out there giving you money. You want to give them a solid business plan. And when you involve your family and friends, especially with money, you have a risk of destroying those relationships. So I do not recommend going to your friends and family for funding for your business. Find another person to fund your business. Anyways, guys, that's all I got for this video. These are the seven most common mistakes I see teenage entrepreneurs out there making. And I'm hoping that after seeing this, you guys are going to avoid making these mistakes yourself. If you guys enjoyed this video, please drop a like. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing to be notified of any future uploads. And as always, I thank you for taking the time to watch this video.